It's gonna happen. It is almost unavoidable. It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. It has long been rumored that our beloved Captain Rex is going to be making an appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2 alongside Ahsoka Tano. With Rosario Dawson confirmed to be playing the live-action version of our favorite Togruta, no, not you. No, not you either. Nope, not you. Soon enough. Ah, there we go. So, with Ahsoka coming back, there is a huge possibility that we'll be seeing Rex again. And there is a huge possibility that he won't make it out of season two alive. The first factor going against Rex old boy is his age. Ah, you crusty old grandpa. Just kidding. <laughs> I love you. He was born in 32 BBY, but because of his accelerated aging process, he's going to be around 84 years old during the time of the Mandalorian. I don't know what the average lifespan for a human is in Star Wars, but... I'm sure that 84 is still considered elderly. Of course, Reddit has a page for this. You're always there when I need you, Reddit. Whenever I need to know the lifespan of humans in Star Wars and to all the other stuff I use you for. With Rex getting up there in years, they have to look at this from a practical standpoint. What more is there left to tell with Rex? We've seen him fight in the Clone Wars alongside General Skywalker and Commander Tano. Go through Order 66. Yes, Lord Sidious. No! I'll do it. Rex, this part always gets me. What's happening? Stay back! Find him. Find him. But... Find him! Find! When Rex cries, we all cry. By the way, shout out to Kevin Kiner for composing some of the greatest Star Wars music compositions ever. We've seen him fight for the Rebellion against the Empire... I love that they put Rex on Endor. Move over, Nick Son. There is a new bearded rebel in town. Wait a second. Nick Sant? Saint? Nick? He's Santa. Oh my gosh. Mom. Mom. Mom, Santa's in Star Wars. Mom, Santa's in Star Wars. We've seen him literally be a part of every Star Wars era. Except the sequels. Yeah, he is way dead by the sequels. But what more could they do? He's old, and really, this is like the last hoorah that Rex would be able to have before his time comes. Not to mention the impact that this would have on the show. Bringing in Ahsoka already ties it to some former character from Star Wars. But killing off Captain Rex, a beloved fan favorite, someone who has been with us for over a decade and canonically speaking, has been fighting against a bad guy since the very beginning of the Clone Wars, that would set the Mandalorian on an even higher pedestal. Plus, as the first live-action Star Wars show, they need to do something in this second season to, you know, really shock the audiences. What better way than by killing off someone important? No! God, please, no! 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 This would prove that the Mandalorian is a serious contender for the emotions of the audience. It would give the community something to mourn over and talk about. Also, I'd like a chance to say goodbye to this character. To see his story come to a close on screen in an appropriate and fitting way. I also think that Dave Filoni, as one of the main people who created Rex, will want to see the same thing. As someone who is heavily involved in the Mandalorian, he now has a vehicle to finish telling the story of characters he has grown to love. He'll be on board with killing Rex. And I think he'll want to take the lead on that. If we look at the episode writers for season 2, we see that Filoni writes chapter 13. I think in this episode, we'll see Rex and Ahsoka for the first time. But then in the season finale, written by Jon Favreau, that is when Rex will die. His death will not be wasted. He'll die for a great cause. He'll sacrifice himself to save someone important to him, whether that be Ahsoka or maybe even Baby Yoda. He's fought along Jedi his whole life first with Anakin and Ahsoka, and then with Kanan and Ezra. He knows the good the Jedi can do, and the impact they can have on the galaxy. This 84-year-old hero will do everything in his power to help restore the Jedi Order. 
as a clone, he may still feel an insane amount of guilt for what he and his brothers did, and taking the child to the Jedi can be a way to directly atone for that mistake. I don't really know how or even if he will die, but with his age and the impact it would have on the show, giving him one final story would be great. I think it'd make a lot of sense to send Captain Rex off with dignity. Watch him already be dead and not even show up. If you liked what you saw today, leave a like and a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and to forever be a Star Wars fan.